Hello guys, um, this is a video about this little lovely piece of software right here that we all love so much that gives us all these problems. So I got on one day and I realized that the only thing that would show up was this, um, my headset for the Elite Wireless, uh, the RGB Pro, my RAM wasn't showing up in the IQ software, this wasn't showing up in the IQ software, and all that good stuff, right? And then, um, you're like, oh man, you know, I gotta, I gotta figure this out. I gotta uninstall this. And then you realize that you can't uninstall it. And then you start losing your mind. And then you start watching all these videos. And then you start really losing your mind. So anyway, this is what I did. I couldn't figure out, I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. I could not uninstall it. I couldn't go and repair it. I couldn't do anything in the registry editor. I couldn't do anything like that. So what I did was I went over here to computer management, right? Boop, 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 ba -doop, boop, ba -doop. Um, and then I went to services and applications. And then I clicked on services, right? And you're gonna come down here and what I noticed, if you look right here, you see all these Corsair services. Well, when you come in here, you're gonna realize that these are disabled and they are not running. And it's gonna piss you off so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this right Corsair IQ update service and you're not gonna be able to right click it and do anything but you're gonna click it and up here it's gonna say start the service you start that shit okay start that shit give it a little bit I can't really remember what happened after that I believe it wanted me to restart the service so I clicked restart the service and then Corsair popped up again or I can't remember if it popped up or I opened it either way um, after you start doing this you're gonna want to open IQ and my stuff still wasn't showing up when I did this by the way it did not show up here only the headset was showing up but I clicked on the gear and went to software updates and lo and behold it wasn't showing up here but all my stuff was showing up here and it was showing that it needed updates so for some reason, and I don't know why, this, this was set to on. This was set to on. I turned it off because I have no idea what happened, why something must have happened. It tried to automatically download the new driver and something just got corrupted, something happened. I'm not entirely sure. But once you do all this um, and you get here, just check for updates and then update everything. And then um, once it's done updating, uh, you're going to want to restart your entire com your computer. And uh, when you turn it back on, everything should flip and work. And I hope it does because, God, this was just a headache. I was trying to figure it out yesterday, all day, couldn't figure it out. I watched one video today, didn't help me, and then somehow I just found this and it worked out. So I hope this helps somebody that was going through the same thing I was going through. Because it's very frustrating. I mean, they should just make this. I mean, like, really. I shouldn't have to mess with this. We shouldn't have to mess with this. This is, this is ridiculous. But, anyway, I hope this helped. I hope whatever problems you're having, it helped you, helped you out. You're not having these problems no more. And the IQ service is working as it should. Thank you. And have a wunderbar day.